Hey guys, Storm here with another episode of Let's Make Pokemon in Unity. And um, what we're going to be doing today is continuing on with our Pokemon and the battling side of things. Uh, there's just a few more things I want to get out of the way uh, in terms of stats. So we're going to actually have um, a class for po um, Pokemon stats down here because I seem to have missed a lot last time. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, so if we just make it zero serializable and we want to go for a public class and we're going to call this one Pokemon stats. And um, for this one, what we're going to add in is a, um, we'll have a uh, public int for its attack stat. We'll have a public int for its defense stat. Uh, we'll have a public int for its uh, speed stat. And then we'll have a public int int for its uh, special attack stat, and then a public int for its special uh, defense stat. Okay, so with that the way, what we're going to add is a um, a public Pokemon stat uh, stat, sorry, and we'll say the Pokemon stats. The one other thing that we need to add in here is the uh, public int for its evasion stat. Alrighty, so now that we've got that out of the way, what we can do is we can start creating a um, few Pokemon. Um, so what we're going to want to do is um, if we go over to the game manager and we have a look at all Pokemon uh, and what I'll also do is just check out Pokemon Sprite so I can see how many we have. Uh, so we have 14 at the moment. Um, so however, what we're going to do is add in uh, just 5 for now. So if we go over to all Pokemon, we'll add in um, 5. <coughs> and for now what we'll do is um, I'll just drag one of these onto the scene. Um, and now that he's on the scene, what I can do with him is if we just click on uh, him, uh, if we go to add component and then we say uh, base Pokemon, then we can start doing some things. Uh, so what we need to do is give him the uh, sheet one, uh, we'll give him a name. Um, so I do know his name, but we're just going to do some fake names for him. Uh, so we'll say... Uh, so I'll just call him Bomb Tree. Uh, inside joke. Uh, so he'll be found in um, grass for now. Uh, he is a ground Pokemon. Um, and then his rarity for now, we'll just say he's uh, very common. What we can do now is just go through each of these stats. And uh, we'll just skip the evolving for the moment. And just something I really want to quickly do is, uh, rather than for our HP stat like that, what we'll do is just say um, public uh, float, uh, even, sorry, we'll say int um, HP, uh, sorry, public uh, int HP, and then we'll have a private int for max HP. So if we come over... Is uh, for his HP right now, we'll just say 45. Uh, the other thing I want to do is uh, in the start, we just want to say uh, max HP is equal to HP. Um, so we'll just jump straight down to the Pokemon stats. Uh, because we've added a speed stat, we can also just take rid of that float. Yeah, sorry, get rid of that float. Um, and so we can start playing with this. So his base attack stat right now is 49. Sorry, his base attack is 49. Uh, his base defense is 49. Uh, his speed stat is 45. His special attack stat is 65. And his special defense stat is uh, 65 as well. For now, we'll leave the evasion stat blank for the moment. Uh, so if you were to add in a evolution, uh, we'd create a duplicate of this, go through and then basically drag that onto there and say what level he levels up at. Uh, so I'll do an example of that right now. So if I just duplicate that, and then I move it across uh, one, 
and then just for now we'll drag on uh, she one so we just go through and set it up so we can say um, uh, so we just call him uh, Sor for now um, I made a mistake sorry he's a uh, grass so we'll just change that to this one as well uh, making grass instead of ground uh, so we'll call him Zor and his base HP uh, is 60 I believe uh, for now we'll change his rarity to common uh, just so we can have all sorts of things later on we'll go through and add him uh, so his attack stat is 62 his defense stat is 63 his speed stat is 60 and then his uh, special attack and special defense is 80 and 80 respectively um, so if we go over to sheet 1 we'll say he can evolve and his next evolution in fact is actually this one um, we probably want to make uh, duplicates of these uh, sorry, um, prefabs of these, so if we just call them the respective ones, uh, it just makes it easy for us to act, um, access later on. So, bomb tree and Zor. So, if we go over to prefabs, we can just create a folder uh, for that. So, we say Pokemon, and in there, we can just drag them in. So, if we do go to bomb tree, uh, we can drag Zor there like that, and then click apply. Alrighty, so uh, now that we've done that, we can just go into the game manager. And so for the first one, we can drag in Bomb Tree. Uh, second one, we can drag in uh, Zor. And so what you can do is you can just keep doing this for the next Pokemon. Uh, so I'll create three more, and then I'll be back once I've done that. Alright, so I've gone ahead and added uh, five of them, just giving them some random names. Uh, so what we can do is we can just delete them from here for now. Uh, so if we go into our game manager class, um, when we are entering battle, uh, what we do is we get a battle Pokemon. Uh, so this comes from the list uh, that we have up above. Um, so what we can do right now is just to see that it's working correctly, is if we do debug.log uh, battle Pokemon uh, dot name, we should be able to see uh, if it's working the way that we intended to work. So if we just walk around, until we get into like that uh, yep, so you can see it's returning a name uh, so we can just do that one more time uh, just to ensure that it's working so we go walking around and yeah so you see it's, it's getting us a random Pokemon uh, by random rarity so when we're doing that what we want to do is um, up here we want to have um, a public transform uh, for the battle podium and then a public transform for our attack podium I'll actually just change this one to defense podium and so what we're going to do for that is if we come uh, all the way down to here is I'll create a new empty game object and we'll put that uh, over here and then I'll create another one and put this one over down here uh, so this one will be called attack podium and then this one here will be called defense podium so when we go to our game manager uh, we can just allocate these like so So now if we go to our um, enter battle, uh, what we can do is, uh, actually first what we want to do is, uh, if we just drag one of these prefabs out, and we'll just call it empty Pokemon, it, it doesn't matter what the sprite is, uh, when we drag that back in here, uh, we can get rid of this one here now. If we go up here, and just have a public game object for empty pokey uh, just because it's access to a game object that we can spawn quite easily and uh, play around with so if we go to game manager we can just drag empty pokey into there uh, so the next thing I want to do is we want to do a uh, instantiate 
and then we'll instantiate the empty pokey that we just created and we'll do it at um, uh, defense podium dot transform dot position and then we'll do also do quaternion uh, dot identity so that just sets it to a, uh, a root quaternion and then what we want to do is change this up a little bit so we'll say uh, def game object d pokey is equal to this and then at the end we just want to write as game object uh, so down here we can say d pokey dot transform dot parent uh, is equal to the um, defense podium now what we can do is say d pokey dot get component and then we can just say our base pokemon is equal to our um, battle Pokemon up here that we created. Uh, so what we'll do um, is on the empty Pokemon, we'll just remove the base Pokemon script. Um, and then we'll come up into here and we will go um, say base Pokemon uh, temp pokey is equal to uh, d pokey dot add component and we're going to be adding the base Pokemon component at the end we just have to say as base Pokemon and then what we can do is say temp pokey is equal to uh, battle Pokemon just like that so if we come in yep that all works and then what we can also say is uh, for our d pokey, we can say dot get component and we'll say sprite renderer. And then in here we can say dot sprite is equal to our battle pokemon dot sprite. Uh, sorry, battle pokemon. Uh, battle pokemon dot image, we named it, I believe. And so if we go into Unity. And now if we get into a battle, we should be able to see uh, that one of them come up when we get into a battle. Ah, uh, not just yet. Actually, sorry, it does. It just seems that it's not um, copying it correctly. Um, However, the Pokemon is there. So it's just a class that we need to do. Um, the other thing what we want to do is set the order and layer. Uh, so we can just say dpokey.getComponent Sprite Renderer. Actually, we don't even need to do that, sorry. Uh, we don't even need to do that through code. Uh, we can just go to our empty Pokemon and for now we can just say five. Ah, uh, five. So if we do get into a battle, it will appear above the background image. So we just walk around till we get into a battle with one of them. Yeah, so you can see it appears above the uh, background image. Um, yeah. All right, so what we need to do now is just fix the uh, script not adding. Um, so it just seems that we're gonna do this the long way, <laughs> sadly. So what we'll do is um, we'll just go in here and we'll say public uh, void, um, and we'll just say add member. And so what this will do is it will take in a base Pokemon uh, BP. And so what we're gonna do is just go through all of this. So we'll say this dot name is equal to BP dot name, and then this dot image is equal to bp.image. Uh, so I'm going to go through and dial for all of them. I'll come back once I've done that. Uh, so it looks something like this. And uh, yeah. So if we go over to our game manager, all we need to do is uh, rather than doing this, we can just do, um, sorry, we can just do tempokey, uh, dot add member, And then we can just say base Pokemon. 
Ah, sorry. Uh, battle Pokemon. Ah, so we can just test that by walking around. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a while. We'll have to um, play around with those values a little bit. Uh, so though. Uh, so you can see that it's copied everything correctly. Uh, the one thing that I hasn't done is the name. Uh, that, uh, that's because Unity has a name for uh, transform. So all we need to do is just change in the base Pokemon class uh, from name to P name, just like that, and uh, just change every instance, just like that, and that should be fine. All right. So that's been this episode. Next episode, we'll have a look at uh, actually implementing our Pokemon. Uh, make it look a little bit better, and then the moves so we can have the battling between the two Pokemon. Uh, I've been Storm, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Uh, feel free to leave a comment with any suggestions, or if you need any help, uh, you can also contact me on my Twitter at BStormGames. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next.